Oh, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, I want to talk about, uh, I, I mentioned before that uh, I, I'm a problem solver. And, uh, uh, the, and I thought I would kind of uh, kind of talk about what it takes to be a problem solver and uh, uh, you hear me all the time talk about um, taking personal responsibility and um, uh, being moral uh, having moral strength uh, testing your morals and uh, once you have this moral strength you can stand behind your morals no matter what and th that is really the basics of being a, a problem solver and uh, but I'm gonna clarify it I'm gonna give you some examples and and talk about it some uh, I'll tell you I've I, I, I watched I say I've I made a lot of mistakes in my life um, um, at, at all, all levels I mean financial mistakes uh, I made bad choices uh, I've said the wrong things to people uh, I've uh, of course, I've done the wrong things and, and all this stuff. Um, one of the one of the main things that I learned from all that was uh, the the bad choices and the bad whatever it was that I did. I try to make it right. If it was if I said the wrong thing or if I did the wrong thing and someone was hurt I I said it right the best I can uh, I start with apologizing recognizing I made a mistake I start with that and then uh, what can I do to uh, correct what I screwed up and uh, uh, the, the easiest the easiest things is when you break something and you just have to financially put out the money to replace it or fix it stuff like that uh, I wish all my problems were just easy I could just use money to fix it but uh, the problems that were really bad were the ones where you hurt someone's feelings you said the inappropriate thing at the wrong time. Um, I did a lot of that. Uh, I do it now, not near so often. Um, it was it was easier when I had my wife because I could run it by her first uh, before I would say something to somebody, you know, and then she would tell me if it was appropriate or not. Uh, because I've got a, a bad habit of just just putting out the the truth how I see it, <laughs> and uh, sometimes it's offensive, you know. And I don't mean it to be offensive. I mean it to be this the way I feel. This is the truth. But some people take it the wrong way. Uh, that, well, I'll put this. They don't take it the way that I meant it to be. And so, uh, and when you do that, once you hurt someone, it makes it uh, harder to um, work with them in the future. Uh, because now they've got a, a bad taste about you. Uh, that's what I talked about before, about uh, now they got a burr under their saddle about me. So uh, anything that I try to uh, work with them, it, it, uh, it's it's tough. They, they uh, I've got to convince them when everything's against me. Uh, if I had a better relationship with them, then they they're more apt to accept it. 
And uh, so that's why uh, it's important not to screw up like that. <laughs> because, uh, like I say, that's something the money's not going to fix. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm, uh, I, I, I'm generous. I try to give gifts. Uh, uh, and like I say, they're gifts. They don't have to be... Um, uh, financial type gifts uh, such as my uh, copper coins I give the copper coins okay uh, it's, a, it's a financial type thing it doesn't always have to be like that uh, sometimes it's, it's a gift of a smile sometimes it's a gift of a hug uh, sometimes it's a gift where uh, letting them know that I support what it is that they're doing and if they need help, I'm, I'm willing to help. Uh, uh, this, is, this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. So it's, it, it's not always money. It's, it's, it's so, uh, and that's why it's, it's difficult when you have your partner. Uh, I say my wife, uh, I say now I found out I had a really good wife uh, because she was really forgiving. I mean, she knew she had enough smarts to realize that I'm a little different than others and she knew that I don't say things not only not to hurt others but I wouldn't say anything to hurt her even though times I would say things and it came out and it hurt her and then eventually she realized all she's got to do is say you you hurt me when you said that and then okay now it's to my attention and I can correct whatever it was so that's what I'm saying. She realized, why should she accept all this hurt that I'm giving her when she knows I'm not doing it on purpose? I just don't know any better. So that was her way of, of teaching me. And learning to think of her and not hurting her helped me a lot on how to deal with other people. Uh, so uh, now what does all this have to do with problem solving? <laughs> okay. And, what it is, is accepting uh, whatever happens when you make a decision. That's the idea. You accept it, uh, and if it's good, a good thing, hey, it's good. You don't need a pat on the back. You don't need praise from whatever, nothing like that. You know when you made the, the right decision, the right choice and stuff like that. I mean, that's something, uh, fixing the toaster, <laughs> you know? Hey, I, that's it, I fixed the toaster. I don't need anybody to, to praise me or nothing. I know I uh, fixed the problem. I know I can fix the problem. And see, that's what I'm saying. Each time you fix, or you, 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 know, you fix a problem, no matter how little this problem is, this gives you the confidence to do better on the, the bigger um, um, challenges that you're going to be confronting. And uh, you don't really need to look for big challenges. What I've noticed is they keep coming at me. But then again, remember, I keep working at it. I'm not, I'm not intimidated uh, when I'm confronted with a, a big challenge. Uh, it doesn't intimidate me. I, I just have to figure out how I'm going to get through this. And it's either how am I going to get through it or how, I'm gonna, how am I going to get others to cooperate with me so we all get through this. <laughs> so uh, that, that's where the idea of the three-man militia come up. That's where I came up with that. So uh, there's... Uh, so problem solving is... Uh, taking the bull by the horns and uh, whatever happens happens uh, if you did bad on it, it didn't work out quite so well there's gonna be an end to it and when it finally comes to the end whether you were able to do it or you had to find somebody to help you get through it it doesn't make any difference you got through the problem you don't allow the problem to linger and continue and uh, because what happens, I've noticed uh, all problems pretty much start as a little problem. <laughs> and if you are observant and you see the little problem, you will see 
there's little things you can do to correct these little problems so they don't turn into anything big. You don't allow them to turn into anything big. And uh, then, when it, then you, if you, if you stay on course like that, uh, eventually you will, you will see this stuff before it happens. I'm just, I'm shocked on how many people uh, make the wrong choices and turn around and make the wrong choices again. You know, uh, that's not problem solving. <laughs> you know, so, and uh, they don't get past one problem. And then they're starting another problem, uh, and that now you're going to get overwhelmed with too many things to, to do deal with, and you're not going to do any good. You're going to lose confidence in yourself, and you won't be able to make the right decision. Uh, that's and that's when well, that's another. Uh, I guess it's a gift that I've been given. Is uh, I, I'm um, my mind. I work one thing at a time. I'm not a multitasker. Uh, one thing at a time and I just do one thing and another thing and if there's a problem here I fix that problem and then I go to the next thing so I can stay focused on whatever the problem is until it gets taken care of now some problems can't be taken care of and once a problem I, I realize it can't be taken care of I mean uh, you know I can't buy another one uh, you know, it's an antique or something really unique that I broke. <laughs> you know, I just can't buy another one. Um, or I hurt somebody's feelings and these people are, you know, ev they don't realize I'm trying to fix the problem. They w insist on being an asshole. You know, you just can't do nothing about that. Okay, so that's going to happen. And when that happens, I say, well, I've done my best and I just mark it off and go on. Uh, I don't let things eat me. They just get inside you and eat on you and eat on you. And the same thing when somebody hurts my feelings, I will say something to them to make sure they understand they hurt my feelings. And if they continue to do it again and again, uh, I eliminate them from my list of people to listen to. In other words, these aren't the people I'm going to take advice from <laughs> because they don't have enough sense to listen when I am direct to them. I'm telling them what they're saying it either doesn't make sense to me, it's hurting my feelings or something like that, and they don't want to go to the, the effort of making it right. Uh, I just don't mess with it and I don't worry about it. This is Mike, nostressmike.com.